Okay, so um, in this demonstration, what I'm going to show you is um, how you can easily manipulate some of these things in these 3D objects in 3D space. So first of all, um, I have my traditional move tool selected in my traditional tools palette. And then uh, that gives me the option of the 3D mode tool options. And so currently I have the rotate tool selected. And uh, whenever you choose the rotate tool, you get this uh, 3D model here in the center that shows you all your different um, modification options. And if you hover over different ones, and just so you know, right now I, I do have this extrusion where it says magnet, uh, Majestic Productions selected. And it's got the border and the crown and the text. Um, and so uh, I have that selected. And whenever I scroll over, you'll notice that I get uh, changing tool icons but I also get this changing tooltip that pops up in the black box. Right here it says scale uniformly and it has a three-headed arrow. For instance, if I do this, it gives me the option to scale along the y-axis, which is up and down. All right, And then if I do move the cursor just a little bit more, it wants me to rotate around the y-axis. Um, so you, you get all these different options if you just carefully move around. So you know that may be confusing to some people. Um, but you just kind of have to play around with it. But you'll you'll notice like there's a little block here. There's another like a little uh, sort of semicircle here that shows that it's a rotation tool. This is just an up and down movement. This is a side to side movement. Again, this is the rotational axis tool. Um, this one's going to scale along a specific axis. So if I were to drag that, for instance, right, I don't want that to happen. But so I'm going to just jump back into my history and pop it back to where oops pop it back to where it was all right and anyway so if I get in the center right here you see it says scale uniformly so if I click on it hold and you see it shows me all of my scaling options or my positions and if I drag it to the right you see it gets bigger and bigger and it's leaving this other um, postcard mesh behind because I don't have that currently selected I could go back and and adjust that separately um, or I could also scale down by moving it you know, to the left. So you can see how that would work, right? And so that's scaling on all three axes, okay? Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna quickly undo that again in my history. So it just pops right back. And then, you know, you can experiment with all these different ones. All right, so that will scale uniformly with the three-headed icon. And then if you just move it a little bit further, this one is going to, um, want to rotate it, well, this one's going to scale uniformly again. But then if I move a little bit further, scale along the z-axis, and you see it's just going to basically extrude it. So it's scaling, but it's extruding it. It's making the depth much greater, as you can see, because the z-axis is going to be, uh, axis is going to be about depth, right? So that gives you uh, some idea. I'm going to, again, I'm going to just undo that so that we can always sort of set back to where we were. And now, um, if I wanted to move it on the z-axis, I'm going to pull it forward. And you see it's not extruding it. It's just literally moving the thing forward, right? It's not pulling it out to make it deeper. It's actually just moving it forward in space, right? So that you can see the difference between what that means versus um, scaling it, right? So moving it and scaling it are two different things. All right, so I just undid that. And let's let's look over here. And so if I were to move it on the x-axis, that's side to side, right? You can see here. And if you're not sure like what the x-axis is, you can see this, uh, this plane right here. That's what it's showing me is is this plane to move it side to side on the x-axis. I'm going to undo what I just did. And again, this is on the y to move it up and down. Same principle. OK. And you can see how the shadow is being affected back here as well. I'll undo that. And then let's look at the rotation. Right? You see here it shows you the little symbol. Um, it's going to rotate around the z-axis. So if I move that, right, it's rotating around that axis. And if you remember, you know, you can see with this little blue arrow that's coming out right here in the center, kind of where I'm moving my mouse, right? That is, it's coming out towards us and it's showing us that axis that comes out towards us. So you can see that it's spinning around that axis. Again, I'll undo that. 
and then you can kind of experiment to so you can start to better understand how these different axes work in three-dimensional space because this is actually one of the things that is the most complicated to understand about three-dimensional uh, work is just how to manipulate the space and how to think about the space. So again, this is rotating around the y-axis. So you can see here as I move it, it starts to intersect that postcard because the postcard's not moving. So that's kind of an interesting thing too. Like if you wanted to have something, let's say that was coming out of a water texture. All right, that's not what this is, but you can start to see how you could do other things that are kind of really interesting in the way that they maybe would intersect, right? And then again, let's just try this on, uh, oops, hold on, Pick, let's do that again. Let me reset that back to where it was. Um, and then we can also, uh, that was the z-axis, we already did that one. And then if you wanted to grab the rotate around the x-axis to kind of see what it does, and I just grabbed the wrong thing. I accidentally grabbed the mesh. And so if you ever wanted to make sure that that didn't happen, you can undo that. And then you can always go back into your 3D panel and choose the right object, which is what I just did. And I can grab that now and try it. And you can see that I grabbed the right object this time. All right, so you can see how I could ups flip it upside down. I could have the thing intersect and so forth, right? Anyway, so this gives you a pretty good sense of uh, some of the things that you can do. And now that is just going to be using these different, um, you know, rotational and move tools that are available for quick like just by you know quick access by grabbing stuff on the screen and if you wanted to use some other tools uh, that are ups in the 3d mode options uh, then you can also use those as well uh, anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and end this really short demo here that was just a quick and dirty little tutorial that allowed you to see the the uh, interactive 3d tools in action on screen <laughs>